What's up, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the video. Stick around to the end, we got something for you. Today is a super special day though because I also get to introduce Parker. As always, thank you for watching the video. My name is Chance and this little guy here is Theo. Tuckered out from a long day of playing. Finds himself in the weirdest places, I swear. Let's get this video started. This video is a very, very, very quick recap on what retail arbitrage is. So, if you guys are anything like me, you're never opposed to earning more money. That's why I freaking love retail arbitrage. Retail arbitrage, I'm not gonna say it again. RA, that's what, that's what we should call it from here on out. All right, cool. All right, all right, some of you guys might be a little new and might not know what RA is. So here's a quick rundown. You buy something somewhere, kind of cheap, good price, let's put it that way. But once you get it, you sell it again. Whether you sell it online or to somebody in person, you flip it for a profit. And when it is done right, it is super easy, super, super time efficient, and you'll be making a ton of side income doing it. That's not even the best part. The best freaking part about this whole thing is the rush of finding that item. I can't explain it any other way than that. You're gonna have to do it to find out. I hope you do do it. Let me know in the comments what you got. So on my last grocery run, what I did was I spent 10 minutes in Goodwill. 10 minutes might not seem like a whole bunch of time, but it's definitely enough. So I've been asked a lot about what tools make this easier, what software should I buy? And my answer to that is nothing. Do everything as cheap as possible, that's the name of RA. What you will need though is just a couple of things. $21, the eBay app on a phone that has internet service, and 10 minutes to shop, 10 minutes to clean, 10 minutes to post. 30 minutes per run, that's all I give myself. Now that being said, let's talk about what to look for. If you're new and you walk into Good Goodwill looking for something to sell, you might get distracted by all of the clothing and everything there. Clothes are really hard to resell used. Some people have an amazing knack for it and they have the marketing skills to do it and they knock it out of the park and they make tons of money doing it. I just don't, I don't have that skill set. What I do is I stick to going straight for the back wall, straight for the back wall, looking for things that are in their original boxing. The golden ticket is to find an item that you can sell as like new, meaning it has everything the package originally came with from the jump. If you can't find it, no big deal. If it's missing something, it's okay. Just make sure that the package itself looks good. That's what I did on this last run with one of my bigger printers. It didn't have the foam inside, and you'll see how I combat that later on. But right now, we need to talk about how do I know this item is gonna sell? On a real note though, you, like me, at the end of the day, don't want to throw away money, and I don't blame you so. Really all you have to do is go onto the eBay app on your phone, type in the title of the item and or just click on that image, um, the camera button at the top of the application and scan the barcode. Make sure it's the original barcode. Once you've done that, scroll through your competition right now. Take note of what you like and what you don't like and try to find a way to set yourself apart from everybody. You know we're still in the shopping mode, but it's always really important to keep an idea of what you're gonna be doing in the future because time is money, time is money, time is money. So by now you found an item that you wanna to try to sell, it has its original packaging, and you are looking on eBay to see what the competition's like. Now what I want you to do is go up to the top right hand corner of the app on the filters portion and you'll see exactly why. Once that menu pops over to the right, you're actually going to see a check bar bubble looking thing that says completed listings. Go ahead and check that. Scroll back through the listings that you see under completed. Take note of how long it takes 
and how many tries it takes to sell that item. If the first thing that you see is your item and it's been sold, 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 and they're sold in relatively tight niche group of dates, like within a week or so, you know you're on to something. If not, it's not the end of the world. You just might hold on to the item a little bit longer before you actually sell it. After you've scrolled through that, go back over to that filter tab and slide that over to the right and click sold listings right below completed listing. All this is gonna do is make it easier to know how frequently these items get sold. So I pay attention to the date and the price and I look at the images um, of the items that actually did. If I'm seeing more green, more sold items than more red, I than red items, I know I'm on to something and that's kind of the end of it for me. It goes in the cart and I'm on to my next item. All right guys, I really appreciate you sticking around to the end and as I promised, this is gonna be some really helpful information on how to make sure your profits are going to be easy to calculate. So as you're shopping around, keep in mind if you're gonna be selling on Amazon, it may be a little bit different, but with eBay, you need to account for a bare minimum of 17%. It's your eBay fees, your selling fees, and your PayPal fees. On this very last haul, I started off with an investment of $20, a little over that, check out the receipts, like under 22, um, because I did end up donating or rounding up to the Goodwill charity. At the end of it, I'm selling my brother printer for $74.99 after buying it for $8.99 after the 2% discount Goodwill gave me for giving them my phone number. The HP printer, on the other hand, is selling for $45 right now, and I bought that for $8.99 after the discount, plus I bought a cord that goes along with it and I spent a dollar on that to put me at that $20 mark so that I can get that extra discount. The next big thing with retail arbitrage is that every 1% counts. So I've got a credit card that I use solely for retail arbitrage. It gives me 2% cash back on every purchase. Plus, the beauty of Goodwill is that if you go into a store, spend $20 or more, and use your phone number, they'll give you an additional 2% back as well. So all in all, I spent $22 on the purchase. I spent 17% of my total sales price, which is 120 total um, on eBay fees. And then I have a business account on eBay, so I can also promote the um, listing and I've promoted them for 10%, 5% a piece, um, which is going to be a total of $32 in fees. And that leaves me with $85.80 for 30 minutes of work, which is $171.60 an hour working from home. Well guys, that about does it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. As always, share what you thought your thoughts are down and below in the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you hit that subscribe button, you'll be in the loop for all of our upcoming videos. A full in-depth RA video is gonna be the next on my list. If there's something that you want to see or questions that you have, like I said, leave them in those comments and I will definitely address them as soon as I can. Um, also, don't forget to take a look at our social media accounts, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and see what all the hype's about. We've got thousands of people interacting with us and um, constant giveaways going on. So don't miss out on the, the neat stuff that's to come and I definitely look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take it easy.